this video, we're going to show you how Dollar is the best blitzing defense in Madden 24, why it is the best defense in Madden 24, and how you can actually optimize this defense beyond maybe something that you previously thought about. We're going to show you a really good blitz scheme out of Dollar. I've got a full dollar defensive ebook on my Patreon page. If you want to get better on defense, I feel like that is one of the biggest strengths I have as a Madden creator. I can teach a lot about defensive principles, adjustments, blitz setups, all of that stuff. We have full ebooks on our Patreon that teach everything you need to know to win at the highest level. The dollar defense had a massive update a couple days ago. If you're not in the Patreon, get in there. It's only $10. It'll get you my full ebook, and uh, I guarantee it will make your defense 10 times better. The cool part about dollar, too, is the concept we teach in terms of coverage and even in terms of pressure can cross apply to other formations. It's just in my opinion right now, dollar is the clear cut best defense at the highest of level. Obviously, if you want to stop the run or be a little more balanced, six one, it's great. Chiefs has both of the both of those formations. So there it is. Let's get into let's get into this uh, little blitzing scheme. Okay, so real quick, uh, basically what you want to do here is you want to have a lurk artist defensive end at this position. Okay, it could be a linebacker, it could be a defensive end. So we're going to put this guy, Chanal, who gets uh, on the Super Bowl theme team, he gets uh, free lurk artists. Just needs to be somebody that has lurk artists. Okay, this guy on the left side does not matter. You want your two best pass rushers right here. Okay. And then um, pretty much from there, it's whatever you want to do in terms of abilities. Okay. With that being said, in your audibles, it is really important that you put DB Fire 2 in your audibles. I like to put free safety zone blitz in my audibles, but you could also come out in this. It's not the end of the world if you come out in this. And then coaching adjustments, you want your option or uh, your auto alignment on base. Everything else pretty much on default. If you want to put 20 yard purples on here, you could do that as well. The 20 yard curl flats with at the from the safety position do a pretty decent job of defending a lot of C routes and corner routes. Okay. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to come out, we're going to press, and then immediately, this is the most important thing I could tell you today, make sure you're backing off the slot corner on the right side. So as you see there, we just individually backed him off. We're then going to pinch our defensive line. We're going to QB contain. We're going to yellow the safety on the left, and then we're going to manually re-blitz this left of screen defensive end. So this is what your player is going to look like. I really recommend shading outside and underneath. Okay, I really like that shade. Now, as you see here, I'm usering on Ronnie Lott. Do not move your user, okay? Because this is why this defense is so good, because it is the ultimate disguise. We can do anything from this look. We can create all kinds of different pressures. We're going to go into some of that in a minute. But what you're going to see is this is our base look. This is the look that we will use until they adjust to it. And I'll explain how the offense will adjust to this look in a minute. So what you're going to see is this four-man pressure is often going to come in off of that left side, okay? Now, let's say that they adjust to this look. Now, the primary way in which your opponent is going to adjust to this look, if they are really good at the game, is they're going to double team. They're going to double team this nose tackle, typically. And what that's going to do is it's going to pick up your A-gap for the most part. Now, again, you still get the potential here of of really good sheds, right? But in general, that's gonna get, that's gonna that's gonna uh, kind of counter that, right? Okay. So the next thing we're gonna do is this is why we have DB Fire Two in our audibles. So we're gonna come out in this. So it, we always come out in this. It looks exactly the same. When I audible to DB Fire, I want you to notice something. Notice that nobody moves. That is super important here. So then from there, what we're gonna do is the same adjustments. We're gonna press. Pinch our D-line, back off the slot corner on the right side. Now, what we're able to do from a coverage perspective, and what I would recommend doing is just a simple third, middle third to the safety, and a hard flat here to the right side. Uh, and then on the left side, you can leave it just as it is because we're only going to need to send four. So then the same exact adjustments for your defensive line. You're going to contain, and you're going to re-blitz the left side defensive end. So you see this is what it looks like. If they do those adjustments we just told you about where the double team in this guy, watch what happens. You're going to see this four-man pressure is going to absolutely scream at them every single time. So they can't, and they really can't double team anyone on your defensive line to, to stop this. Now, another way in which you can run this defense, just kind of for fun, is I would just, you could basically just come out like this, 
And then you actually can just leave the defense like this. So what I would probably do, in my opinion, I think it makes a lot of sense to just bring this guy down into the box. And then that's basically it. You could back up the slot corner if you want to, but I don't think you have to. And what you'll see is this blitz will scream off the left side as well. So that's another little thing you could do uh, to kind of create multiple pressure concepts. Now, let's talk about if they block a running back. So let's say they double team this guy, but then they block the running back. Now, the purpose of this is going to be so that they can kind of counter two things in one. So they can counter this DB fire two, and they can oftentimes counter the A gap with this pass protections, which you'll see. Running back blocks that guy, and now they're able to, you know, they, they're able to block your four man blitzes, which is great by them. So, what you're going to do to adjust to that is you are going to send more pressure. So, the way we're going to do this is we're going to uh, stay in, this time we're going to stay in free safety zone blitz. We're going to press back off the slot corner on the left, pinch your D line. And then you're going to uh, do the contain stuff we talked about, and you're going to re or you're going to manually blitz the slot corner on the left, and this is what your defense is going to look like. Okay. Now, when you do this adjustment, you have a couple of different choices that you can make. But what I want to first show is this five-man blitz. Oftentimes, you're going to scream off that left side edge, as you can see. Now, the cool part about this specific defense is there's another thing that we can do that makes this, I think, really good, especially against these bunch bunch strong type of formations and it will actually save you an adjustment so instead of containing this guy we're actually just going to going to uh take this three rec hook zone and we're going to put him in the hard flat and then we're going to uh put the curl flat here to the right side so you see this is what it looks like and then we're going to click on to this player right here so as you'll see we're going to do the same defensive adjustment or offensive pass protection to try to block this blitz but now we're using the defensive line and as you see we're back to only sending four people okay this is really really good for providing us with the most amount of coverage options from a defensive perspective another thing i want to quickly point out that i didn't cover when we were talking about db fire 2 is this right here so remember i said don't move your users this is going to make it so it's harder to identify what you're doing so let's say we wanted to send let's say we wanted to send the heavy pressure here to the to the uh, to the left side or, or I'm sorry not heavy but the four man uh, from the left. What we're gonna do is we can do a double flat here. So we have a hard flat on the user and then this guy's on a cloud flat or a curl flat. That's up to you. And then really what this allows us to do on the back end of the defense is we can go with a third and a uh, and a curl flat as you see. And if we wanted to, we could do even something like this and just leave the three racks shaded underneath. So now you see the defense looks like this. The cool part about this is they're not used to us being over here. Almost every single defense, when you get this look, you're going to be using this defender, right? Well, now you're going to use this guy. And what you'll see is your foreman. Actually, I'm sorry, I didn't do the double team. Now, that's actually important to, to, to quickly cover. They have to double team to make the DB fire blitz worth it. But the cool part about the DB fire blitz is you don't have this right side slot corner. He's not important to the blitz whatsoever. It just gives you a better. The reason why we're calling it is because it gives you a better slot corner blitz angle. That's going to come in more consistently. That's the whole reason and purpose for us calling this. So what we're going to do is we are going to put this guy on the right in a purple. We're going to put the safety in a purple. And then we're going to basically create a cover three shell and shade outside and underneath so you see this is what it looks like the cool part is like i said we did not move we don't move this defender here on the on the left now another thing you can do if you want to get super adjusty is you can drop this guy into a vertical hook this guy into a hard flat this guy into a purple so we have a really we have five zones to the left and we're only sending three people but what i want to show is if they double team this center almost every single time you see here we're going to get pressure off that left side and if you want to really guarantee the pressure, send that defensive end uh, over there on the right. Okay. Now, if your guys ever go in the, into the A-gap like that, what you're going to do is you're going to click on, and then you're going to just move them slightly and then click off, and they'll move back, uh, which is also important. Okay. Now, let's say we want to send, um, like, super heavy pressure. Okay. You know, and, and the, really the best way for them to block us is to slide to the right, and then ID this guy right here when blocking a running back. 
What I like to do in that situation is we're going to blitz this guy now, and we're going to use her here. So we're going to have a super heavy, heavy, heavy pressure. And then what you'll see is we're going to get a disengage A gap up the middle. So this is what makes dollar, I think, so good is because you can do things like, let's say you just want to send three. Okay, we're going to send three. So we've got a hard flat. We've got a, we've got a double flat to the right. And then as you see, we're using this linebacker here uh, at the defensive end position. And what you'll see is a lot of times this three man is going to come right down the middle, as you can see. So this just gives us so much flexibility from a coverage perspective. And it's really what makes Dollar such a such a unique defense that a lot of people, I think, are kind of sleeping on that you can do some of this stuff. And, you know, it just comes down to, like, just mess around with the blitzing stuff. The biggest key is to never move your user. If you never move your user, the defense automatically becomes a thousand times better because they might think they might think your user is always over here and then randomly maybe we just send three maybe we just send three like this right and we just randomly play maximum coverage defense and they're blocking people because they got to worry about all the pressure we can send guys this is just the tip of the iceberg if you want the full defensive ebook make sure you join the patreon link is in the description we literally show you how to counter pretty much everything you're going to see in this game thanks for watching